cutters. And you can see these all uh, dried up. Um, he's looking quite ready for highlighting. So let's get on with it, shall we? So first of all, his skin tone. We had Doom Bull Brown as his uh, skin tone. So we'll put, put a little more of that on the palette. And in with the Doom Bull Brown. In fact, I could have just left it there, couldn't I? Ah, well, never mind. We're going to add some Screaming Skull. Okay. And this is going to just add a touch of brightness to it. I don't want that much. Want it that bright? We just want to make it just a little bright for the time being. In fact, what I better do is put some on the palette, and then I can go into it as and when I need it. That would be the better option. So there we are. And now, we can get our brush out. And make a start, shall we? Okay, we'll make a start on his nose. It's not much of a highlight as yet. But hopefully, by the time I've finished, you will see much more of a highlight. Let me just put my light on so you can see a little more. I'm not touching under his chin because let's face it, it's shadow. But I'm going to apply some of this shade to other areas. As you can see, as I say, it's not a big 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 difference and you may not actually see much of a difference to this but once the next highlight goes on you will see the difference as uh, it will give a much better gradient from the highlights into the shadow area because I won't be cutting all of this I won't be going over rather all of this particular shade once I do the next lot of um, highlighting and I'm trying to be careful not to go over um, all of the, uh, the dark 
going to leave some of it fully intact otherwise there's no point in having it on and this will be the final highlight for some areas um, because of the amount of light that will be expected to reach those areas um, you wouldn't need too much of a highlight if you get me drift and right. next is thigh right. this is a much much nicer shall we say um, painting technique than the one I was using before I'm um, using very watery paints adding them more like a, a wash than an actual coat of paint because I can still go back and add more wash if need be it doesn't look out of place you get a much gentler um, gradient there we are. just going to wash the brush and then add a touch more um, of both colored paints but more of the um, screaming skull because I want this one to be much lighter now and just that we're running out of this paint color might be better so we'll get the um, brush nice and wet and get the paint that we want on the brush and then we can go onto the model and add it where it's needed As you can see, it's just the parts that are going to be um, on the uppermost. As you can see, I'm not using it everywhere. Not all the areas that we did last time are going to be covered in this. We're just going to pick and choose where this colour goes. Oops. A little bit of a A bit of a twitch on me arm. Hit it when that happens, but at the moment I can't help it because I'm. I 
feeling a little shaky due to uh, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something, but it's annoying the life out of me. I'm supposed to be going to Scraggers tonight, and because of the feeling I've not gone, I don't mind. But I've got the heating on. Um, got the heating on, I've got a jumper on. I've been drinking a lot of warm drinks as well as um, uh, cold drinks to help take my tablets. I can't take tablets with the uh, hot drinks. I find it difficult to swallow them. And um, Keeping myself basically hydrated, taking paracetamol on, and that ho hopefully I can try and keep the this from becoming a cold. But you know, fingers crossed, one of those things. Just a bit there. And that is Shavatus. Skin tone highlighted. Next, we're going to be doing <coughs> his um, little clothy thing. And I've got some more Wasdaka Red. So, the one I had can go. So this is the one we used, and this is the one that we're going to be carrying on with. As you know, we had purple over there, so it's darkened it down quite a bit. And, uh, that, so that being said, we need to brighten it up a little bit more. And... And we're going to do that is just apply some more Wazadaka Red to certain areas and then lighten it up with other colours. And we're just trying to put the red where on the raised areas are. There will be times you get it in the wrong place, but oh no, don't worry about it. As long as it looks okay. Because remember, we are going to be putting some um, paler colours over this as well. So this is not going to be the final highlight. It's a little bit water, I think, for this kind of technique. I think for this stage you do need it a little bit firmer colour, not less dilute, but I 
Yep. That will do for that bit. There's not much there I can do at the moment, so I'm going to leave that for the time being. And we're going to go over to more metallic colours. So I want to see what metallic colours I have in my little collection here. Um, I think that is... Oh, there's another one there. Okay, so what do we have? Um, well, we have Hashut Copper. We have an old Shining Gold. We have an old Dwarf Bronze. We have Auric Erma Gold. We have... I can put my hand on it. Iron Breaker, and we have Runefang Steel. So these are all the. Um, oh, I'm not counting the. Found some more Retributor Armor. Balthazar, oops, Balthazar Gold. And I think that's it. Oh, nope. Warplot Bronze. So we're going to have play about with these now <coughs> and because we don't really want too much um, of a bigger brush I'm going to find a smaller one and just use that to add details to it and the one I'm going to be using is a size zero Again from Rosemary and Co. Just clean off all the uh, soap and protector that I've got on the the bristles. Okay, so first off on the arms. You'll see we have this here and I think for this we're going to have it uh, a little dark so both as our gold would be quite nice for this I'm going to add some to my brush and just I think I'm just going to touch a few bits here in the in the the recessed area. I think I'm going to call it done at that because that's I hope you can see that that isn't bad. I'm going to do the same over this side. I just need to give it a shake first of all because it's not, doesn't seem to be uh, giving off the colours as I was hoping. I'm just going over these again. Um, So, and that is that. I think I'm also going to go over these ones around his neck with this. I'm going to highlight the round bits and keep the what I would assume is a chain area 
Um, I'm going to keep that dark, but have the metals or whatever they may be. Hoping you can see that. I'm going to put the metals as uh, slightly lighter colour. We'll keep the the chain um, I'm going to do the same thing with these ones here as well any more of that. Next we're going to be using some wall clock bronze. And this will go on the back of his dagger. Or the not the dagger, the uh Holster, it's a um, sheath. So we'll do that in the wall plot blank bronze and that's that. The rest of the sheath will be um, what you call it? Uh, oh, dwarf bronze. Next, using Auric Armor Gold, give it a good shake. I think it's this one that we're going to be using. And get some on our palette, uh, on our brush. And then this little bit on the cloth. be that colour. I'm going to highlight some more, well, saying highlight some more, I'll highlight his belt. And the dagger, or the handle of the dagger. And yeah, this dagger at the back Seems okay though. And the other things I'm going to do with this are the um, ones around his arms. Just like that. Takes a bit of a steady hand, I'm afraid. This, or you could try and do it using the the flat of the brush rather than the point. That's the way I'm doing it because at the moment my hand isn't steady enough for that. I'm going to also do all the little bits on the necklace in this as well. There we have it. That is it for the Orikama Gold. Now going back to the Dwarf Bronze, we're going to use that, which is this colour, we're going to use that this one which is slightly brighter 
well quite a bit brighter actually than the other bronze we have. I'm going to go over the high points on the uh, sheath here. Like so, and I'll just run a little bit over here as well. There we are. Don't want to leave that one out. Next, using a little bit of the um, screaming skull. I'm just going to touch it to the some of these areas on the um, where these uh, wrap things are. I'm hoping you can see this. There we go. That's it for that. And now. For the blade of his dagger, we're going to be using Iron Breaker, and we're just going to dilute, not dilute, we're going to dry brush, I'm saying dilute for, we're going to dry brush that on, so as little paint as you can get on the brush, and just quite simply, the And the touching a little here and the on other metal perch just to give a little bit more of a highlight. And finally, using the zero brush again. We're going to be going into some Evil Sun Scarlet. Pop some of that on the palette. Mm, yeah. And we're going to add some So I'll have that colour for the what can be loosely described as the item of clothing he's wearing. <laughs> okay, so that really is it for Shavatus. Um well, I feel all this arm all I'm, all I'm gonna be doing. Um, it's just a case now, as I said, picking out some high points and Making the making the thing look as though it's 3D, which it is. Um, sorry, I just forgot what I was saying then. Um, my train of thought went completely, but we have. We have so for Shavatus completed now. Just a case now of going back and doing the base in exactly the same way as we're going to do the base for Conan. But I don't 
I'm just going to add a little bit more up there because I've gone over with caught it with some of the uh, metallic colour. But there now is Shavatas. I will move everything behind it and they can have a clear look. And that's him. There we go. Right, that's it for this video. Another mini is down. We have a couple more to go. This is by nowhere near the end <laughs> of uh, the Conan series, but it's the end for this video for this miniature. Other than obviously getting the um, Rhinox hide and painting the base, which I think, just for the sake of it. Out of the lid. There we are. Um, I'm looking to get a cracked earth finish on these bases. Um, so painting them brown and then going over with some. Uh, cracked earth paste which once it's dried it will as you can imagine crack and we'll show this brown through um, this isn't the finished color we'll have to have a few coats of this on to uh, make it brown enough before I can actually do it but it's just to give an idea of completion for the mini and make it look presentable if I get any games in before I manage to finish the bases but as I said that's it for Shavatus so we have the snake done, we have Conan done, we have Shavatus done um, not sure who we're going to do next but However it is, I hope you enjoyed the video, but for now, that's it from me. Until next time, as always, shift a tin of paint, or top of paint, then you can see what I'm showing you. And there we are, very close to up to, until next time, as I say, take care, God bless, and bye for now.